Hey everybody, welcome to LMP TV. Today I want to talk about non-competes. So if you don't know what a non-compete is, it is a clause in a contract when you uh, either start a job or sometimes an employer can um, bring this up after you've already gotten the job later down the road. But it says that you can't participate in activities that would be competing with the business. So there's generally some stipulations on that, some more specifics, but basically they don't want you to leave their company and go compete or start your own business. That would be competition for them. So a few things I want to talk about here is, uh, the first thing is I do not like non-competes. I think that they ruin the trust that you have with your employee or potential employee or new hire. So what is the most important thing in a relationship? Communication and trust, okay? That's universally known. People will say that all the time. Yet for some reason, we don't seem to think that our employee-employer relationship is the same kind, and it is. And it's very important to have trust and communication in those workplace relationships as well. So. If you ask a new hire, somebody that you're interviewing, to sign a non-compete, they have not had any chance to even see if they like you or the job. Um, you know, maybe they've interviewed with you a few times, but they haven't actually got to the heart of doing the job. So asking them to sign a non-compete as a new hire is just really unfair because as an employer, you have no obligation to... Uh, keep them on you know you can let them go at any time just because you don't like their performance but they've already signed that non-compete and that's not really fair so the other thing is if you already have an employee and you're asking them to sign a new non-compete that's not really fair either because those people have been working for you and you should have this trust in the relationship at this point that you don't think that they're going to leave and if you're not building a place that they don't want to leave or that they really support and want to help you grow, then you're doing something else wrong aside from the non-compete. All right, so all that out of the way, why I don't like non-competes, because you need to build relationships in your company that you don't have to scare them with non-competes to keep them from leaving, okay? All that out of the way, if you really have to have a non-compete as the employer or if you are looking at a new job and they have a non-compete and you really need the job or you really want the job but you're just not sure, here are some things about non-competes that you need to know. The first thing is there has to be an exchange of value for the non-compete to be enforceable. So as a new hire, them hiring you is the exchange of value. As an already existing employee, if they ask you to sign a non-compete and you're already an employee, they have to offer you something else of value. So more pay, more responsibility, a new title, something like that. So keep that in mind. And then they cannot restrict competition for an unreasonable amount of time or an unreasonable location or area that you can't compete in. So um, unreasonable is determined by you know, a court or something if if you actually have to go back and fight the non-compete. That, that time, that what's called unreasonable is not a predetermined amount. It's different based on what business you're in, but they cannot restrict you from competition for an unreasonable amount of time, and they can't restrict you from an unreasonable location. So if the non-compete says you can't participate in this type of business anywhere in the world ever, that's not going to be enforceable. So just keep that in mind. And then another thing is it's not one size fits all. So if you're an employer and you are trying to add a non-compete into your contract, don't just take something off of the internet and copy it for your business because it doesn't work that way. It has to be very specific to your business and you have to clearly outline the time, the location, all of those things and what you offer the employee as the exchange of value. This is called consideration. And if you don't do that, then the non-compete is gonna be unenforceable anyway. So keep that in mind. And then if you are thinking about a non-compete, adding that to your contract, or if you're thinking about taking a job with a non-compete, I just encourage you to be really smart about it and also 
try to build relationships that you don't feel that you need to have that anyway because trust is really super important and having somebody who's actually engaged in your vision of your company is really important and being involved on your team rather than just an employee that you pay and will sue if they decide to leave and compete with you. So that's my advice. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Subscribe for more videos every Monday. Have a good day, guys.